So the food processor help us to break the chickpea down and this is how it looks and sister Lene is going to explain to us how she was able to cook the chickpea for it to be ready to go into the food processor. Okay so usually um, I was buying my chickpeas in a can but I learned it's very easy to just make your own and you know you wouldn't have the can it is basically fresh so all you do is soak you want to soak the beans overnight or at least for about six hours so if you just remember the night before you want to do it um, put it in there and cover with a couple of inches of water in, in a big bowl and then after they've soaked you just drain them put them in a pot of fresh water and then cook them for an hour to an hour and a half and so they come out they cook very easily and then what I like to do is um, put them in two cup portions because that's about the size of the can. So whenever I pull it out for a recipe, I already know, okay, this is two cups right here and they're all ready for you to go. So. All right, and also if you don't have a food processor after it's cooked, you can, you know, basically mash it. You can, you know, get a cup or some, some type of batter and you just basically bruise it and allow it to crush into a pasty, like you know substance and you will see it when it comes out all right so we just put the chickpea in as well and this is a good source of fiber and one of the thing with fiber fiber is what we need to be able to digest our food all right and i'm just going to excuse me sorry i'm just going to use this to kind of Bring it down a little bit more and we'll process it one last time for a few seconds. And then some people like it, you know, to be grainy. Some people like it to be fine. So, you know, the consistency is up to you. All right. Finished with that, thank you. We'll take our food processor out and we'll just dump it in here. And you may wanna have a large container so you can put your chickpea. All right. And basically, this is how it looks. And I'm going to kinda of show you here the consistency of how it looks it's kind of grainy and that's basically how you see it here and then once we're done with that then we have our salary so basically we're going to chop the salary and that's going to be our next item here oh yeah I already have some pre chopped so that save us some time so this is how you want the salary, at least this, this size here. Some people like it finer, some people don't. Like I said, it's up to you and your family. If you like it, you know, thicker or smaller, however you like the consistency of it, um, however your family likes it, that's how you should have it. All right, and we'll just put this our salary in. And then we'll chop our cilantro here we're gonna add cilantro to it so and basically you just kind of scramble everything together. Like I said, this is, um, we have more greens than we do uh, chickpea, but generally it'll be more chickpea in there and you just kind of play with it. For many of you who have children, I'm pretty sure the children would love to play around as they make this meal. So um, right here, and then also 
we have our, but before we add that, we're going to add our powders here. So we have garlic powder. Usually when I make this, I don't measure because I'm kind of used to it. And you cannot go, you cannot really do too much of garlic because garlic builds your immune system. And remember that the purpose to this also is to help us. This is a remedy. Food is our medicine. So the more garlic you have, the better because it builds your immune system to help you to fight sickness and disease. And then also we have our onion powder. Right here. Of onion powder. And we have some simple in the back as well. For those of you who are here, you may probably take it home with you and save it for breakfast or if you didn't have dinner yet, you may want it now. And also now we're going to add our salt. If you like more salt, then you put more salt. If you like less salt, then you put less. And also we're gonna add our herbal mare. And as you do this, before you put this in, you want to, once again, make sure everything is in all together. All right. You can also use the nutritional yeast flakes in this recipe as well. Amen. Oh, yeah. One last thing before we put our cashew in. We was forgetting our onion because it was hiding behind this thing here. Our onion. All right. You want to have some, you want to have some chopped onions. Mix it all together. Can you all smell this? Smell, how, how does it smell? Yeah, because I mean, I'm, I'm smelling it up here and it smells very good. And before I put the cashew sauce, I want the camera to take a shot um, for the people online. All right, and now, the reason why we add in the cashew once again, because it's still, it's not bind. It's still kind of powdery. Because what you want it to, you want to have a spread. So this will not spread. It will just fall off your bread if you have it just like, but it's good. I mean, you still can have it. Just as if you basically add mayo to it. If you can see, it's kind of white there with the cashew. And, and what you want to do, because this is a cold food, you want to store it in the fridge after you prepare it, maybe for about 15 or 30 minutes. Because this food is best in the summer. Like right now, it's very hot. So this is a perfect meal for the summer. But during winter time, I wouldn't recommend you eat this because it's cold. And during the winter, you don't want to, you want to have your system to be warm. So, you know, cook foods is the best for the winter. But for the summer, you, your food doesn't necessarily have to be cooked. And this is a, a, a perfect meal uh, to go with this. Thank you very much. Appreciate your help. All right. So, and basically that's what we have here. And also uh, this food goes well with a bowl of salad we have some avocado during the summer avocado is very very popular so you can chop some avocado in it so this will be well with your salad dressing so you have your salad your salad dressing as a side and also you have your main course and also we have some sliced bread so basically this will be a very very good sandwich very healthy 
and, and it has all the things that you need for the day. So. You've been listening to gospel media recorded by Everlasting Gospel Bible School with Pastor Darren Tinsley. To contact, support, or obtain similar media from Everlasting Gospel Bible School, contact us at P.O. Box 204-209, Augusta, Georgia, 30917, or call us at 706-421-7719. And lastly, on the web, visit us at E.G. BibleSchool.org. Again, that's EG BibleSchool.org. May God richly bless you.